But let's do our opening call to London. Juliana Olayinka joins us now from our London studio. Good morning, Juliana. A beautiful week to you. Now, an information campaign urging the public to get ready for Brexit has been launched by the government. How is London and the markets waking up to this? Uh, good morning, Chimmy. Well, it's a new month, so there's certainly a new sense of positivity around the city. The FTSE opened 33 points higher this morning, though, of course, everybody knows that uh, the trade tariff war and Brexit are not far from anybody's minds. Yesterday, Michael Gove, he is the minister in charge of no deal contingency planning. He launched a 140 million pound uh, campaign. That campaign is called Get Ready, Get Ready for Brexit. So there's been a series of uh, social media posts, newspaper, radio um, advertising, though I must say I haven't seen uh, one yet, around the United Kingdom from top to bottom, literally just telling everybody they must be prepared. This comes, of course, as seri a series of big uh, business groups and organizations say that their companies have no idea how to prepare. I think the latest reading is that 42% of small to medium-sized businesses are worried. Uh, Michael Gove has said that there will be a grant for uh, some uh, small businesses if they need um, extra help from the government. One of the most important points of this uh, campaign for small businesses is that there's an economic operator registration and identification number that small and medium sized businesses must uh, get before October the 31st. And the countdown uh, goes on at the moment. One of the main sticking points uh, for a lot of uh, people who are observing what's going on is food shortages. Now, Michael Gove was speaking um, on radio yesterday, and he said that uh, there won't be a shortage of fresh food, that yes, there may, however, be an increase in prices uh, for small, uh, for fresh fruit, but um, there won't be a shortage. Now, the British Retail Consortium completely rejected that today, and they said not only will there be an increase, but uh, for some uh, foods like strawberries, lettuces, lots of things that British companies do like to have in their sandwiches, uh, will be hard to get. So uh, the Brexit uh, mumblings keep rolling on. Well, Juliana, while you guys count down to Brexit, let's just hope for a better outlook in the new month. Thank you. Uh, hope to see you later in the day.